from My News 26 and CCTV. It's high school basketball. Coming to you tonight from Cadillac High School. This 26 Sports and CCTV high school basketball presentation is presented by Cadillac Casting Incorporated. Welcome back, Cadillac High School, Big North Boys Basketball action coming your way. Jay Simon and Eric Richards with you, the Cadillac Vikings, the Alpena Wildcats. We're about to get the starting lineups, the national anthem performed by the Cadillac High School pep band under the direction of Mike Filkins, doing a fantastic job with that. I always love it when a pep band does the national anthem. I just love high school bands. And uh, we're getting the uh, lineups, starting lineups for these two teams. And we briefly mentioned in the pregame, Eric, about uh, Chris DeRocher, the 6'5 standout for the Wildcats. They come into this contest, we mentioned four and two. They have not had a game closer than 12 points. So they haven't had a, a, a close contest. They've lost one by 12, they've won one by 12. They were blown out by TC West, or excuse me, TC Central by 34. And they've blown three teams out by 40, 29, and 27. Hmm. These guys either want to get home fast <laughs> or something, right? <laughs> you know, the game plan for Cadillac, in my opinion, then, would be to try to keep it close. You know, could put a little pressure on them to see how they respond in a close game as opposed to blowing someone out or getting blown out. You know, see, see if their guards are, see if this Rozier kid can handle the pressure of handling the ball, you know, see if their guards can handle the pressure of having the ball, handling the ball in a close game. Because it, it, it's, it's different. It's a different, it's a different game when you're playing, when you're handling the ball, you know, turnovers and all that stuff in a close game versus, you know, a blowout. So it'll be interesting to see if Cadillac can keep it close to put that pressure on them. And we talked in the pregame about this Vikings team and, and they, the way they like to play in terms of up-tempo, four-out. There's not a lot of size. Uh, the guards are decent sized. I've stood in front of Keegan Brooks. I know he goes about 6'2", 6'3". So... But there's nobody to match up directly with DeRocher. Uh, I would expect, as we mentioned, they're going to put Cooper Benson on him to start, but I would expect that we're going to see an awful lot of help for Cooper. Yeah, yeah. You're going you're gonna to have to hope he doesn't have a good close game. And if he does, you're going to have to throw some help down there, like we said. And the Vikings are going to have to be quick. If he's as good as you know the headlines say he is, then the Vikings are going to have to really help out if he decides to go down low and post up the smaller guards. It, it'll be, uh, I, I think that'll be a key point in this game to see how they respond to having him on the floor. Out for the tip is Cooper Benson against Chris it's DeRocher. And seems so a little unfair. It does seem a little unfair. <laughs> it was. And it was unfair. <laughs> Alpina with the ball to start this one off. There are more beards on this Alpena Wildcat team than I've ever seen on any high school basketball team. It's very impressive. <laughs> it, well, they're from the north, man. They gotta grow <laughs> early, stay warm. <laughs> you see him double teaming DeRosha right away, and there's a nice steal Genema. by the Vikings. Kahani saves it. And Keegan Brooks will reset. They got DeRozier on Vinny Genema. I'd like to see Vinny be a lot, a lot, have a lot of activity to try to wear him out on defense a little bit, make him respect him, run around a little bit out there. Keegan Brooks' is three is off the back iron. Kahani with a nice rebound. Nice little jump step. Nice. Keegan Brooks. That was a pretty move. Very fluid, very fluid. In control, 
Nice little finger roll up to the hoop. That jump stop wasn't legal when we were kids. <laughs> <laughs> Back then it was called a travel. Yes. And yeah, there's a nice look. Breaking the press for the Wildcats leads to a layup for DeRocher. Yeah, you don't want to give him too many easy looks, get him going early. That, that'll be a problem for the Vikings. There's that sort of four-out look we talked about. Jake Kahani really the only quote-unquote big man, and he is a big man on the floor. Nice, nice little roll. And Kahani can't finish, but we're going to get a foul. And looks like going uh, to be on the floor. They're going to pick up Jenema on that one? Yeah, it looked like Jenema over the back there. It's a senior heavy team for the Vikings, and a number of these seniors have been up here since their sophomore years and saw significant minutes. Of course, Keegan Brooks, Cooper Benson are two of the ones that come to mind quickly. I believe Vinny Jenema is too. Jenema, I believe, has been up since the sophomore as well. You know, I have a beard myself, but I got to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, cool their, 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 their beards as as are magnificent. Oh, there's a three attempt by Aiden. Goik is off the mark. And now inside, Walter Martin with the lay-in. Vikings got to do a better job boxing out in those long takes. Four to two, Alpina. Keegan Brooks, another three is no good. And DeRocher pulls the rebound down. Quickly up ahead of the defense. And the layup slash fingertip dunk from Hayden Goble. Caught the Vikings falling asleep there on defense. Well, for an up-tempo team, you got to get back on defense up-tempo as well, right? And then we're going to get a cheap one here, semi-cheap one, as Bruise Copping. I don't know if it's Bruise or Bruz. I'm going to go with Bruise just because it's cooler. Not only has <laughs> he got one of the better beards you'll see on a high school kid, but <laughs> what a first name. That might be an all-name team right there, remember. <laughs> Picks up the foul. Six two Alpina. We'll get that scoreboard updated for you here shortly. Benson will kick out. Kahani, they'll leave him alone out there. Yeah, I think they're gonna make Kahani beat him with that shot. They're Keegan lost going. the handle, and then Kahani is gonna pick up the foul as he went to turn up court, got a little hip into the side of Walter Martin, and he's gonna pick up the foul. That will send Kahani to the bench, and we'll get our first look at the junior, Cale Mickelson, who may see some time defending DeRocher as well, and right now he is on DeRocher. As the Wildcats come down, there's a nice nifty Ooh. move and a layup. Ooh. Copying with the lead. Pretty move, pretty move there. Eight to two, Alpino. Vikings gotta settle down here, have a, have a good offensive possession, play some deep, there we go. Cooper Benson from deep. That was a good stroke there for Cooper. Now you got to settle down, play some defense. Can't give up any puppies. And the hoop and the harm for DeRocher as he goes baseline, takes the bump from Mickelson. And DeRocher will have an opportunity for a two-point play, three-point play, excuse me. I'm writing a two as I say that, but don't ever do that. Yeah, he had showed uh, good oh, upper gonna body say, strength. You know what? They're going to say this was on the floor. So that is – Really? Yeah, wave the bucket off. Huh. I think. I think they're discussing some it discussion. now. Now, did I cross it off in error, and now they're going to give him the bucket? I thought it was an and one myself. That'll be annoying. I did, too. And they're calling it on the it floor. It is not. Yep, it's going to be on the floor. So, Kale picks up his first. I didn't even see who made that bucket. I looked it down. It was DeRozier. Was it DeRozier? Yeah. I should have known. Yeah. DeRozier with four. It's 10-5 Alpina now. They're doing a good job getting him some easy looks. This little skip pass for Cooper Benson. In and out. Oof. And DeRocher with another board. Going to be saying that a lot, I have a feeling. Yeah, he looks like a man among boys out there right now. Oh, that's a nice read and a great steal by Maddox Hoagland. And oh. then he loses the handle on the other end. Really nice defensive play by Maddox. Just couldn't finish on the offensive end. Three is too strong from Copping and the rebound, Kale Mickelson. There's Keegan Brooks. It almost appears as though the Vikings have a little bit of uh, early game jitters going on. You can tell their, their passes aren't as crisp. They're kind of just, it, it almost appears like they're, they look a little lost right now. It's a nice kick out from Mickelson to Benson who actually passed up the open corner three. 
Have you ever passed up no. an open corner three, no. Eric? No. I, I'm always open, Jay. You know that. So. Well, that's what. <laughs> this is true, but my point being, have you ever passed <laughs> no. up a three? I've never seen you pump fake somebody. Unless a defender came out with a handful of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it takes? I'll, that's I'll that's have to it. pocket that one. I'll remember that one. <laughs> Keep a slice of G&D &D on my person it, it, at all times. If they ever came out with pizza-flavored bubble gum, I'd be in trouble on the basketball court. Really? I'd be in trouble. Benson nice drains them both. Benson there. He's got five of the Vikings' seven. It's on the way back in here. It looked like it was going to get away from them a little early, and they're doing a good job settling down now. DeRocher, another nice finish down low. Boy, that is a weapon to have. Yeah. yeah and you can just tough. loft it over a defender. He, he is definitely tough. Nicholson straight away three, no good. And here come the Wildcats, Aiden Goyke. Nice look that. for DeRocher. Ooh. Blows the bunny, oh. though. Goodness. He wants that one back. Mickelson will take another three, and there this time go. finds the range. Nice stroke from Kale there. Second triple of the game for the Vikings, and they've trimmed this one to two, 12-10. Three minutes remaining in the opening quarter. DeRocher, nice look. Across the lane for a cutting Hayden Goble. You know, they're doing a really good job of it, breaking that press right now, and they're getting a lot of easy looks because of it. The two big men, Goble and DeRocher, have 10 of the 14 now. Keegan Brooks for three. So like oh, that the, will keep you in a game, won't it? it? It's like the Phoenix Suns of the mid 2000s. They're just <laughs> popping threes. It's not even thinking about it. I love it. <laughs> a team to your own heart. Oh, man. Sign me up for this team. There's a long two. Ooh. Good nice looking stroke. stroke there from Walter Martin. His second bucket of the game. And he's got a magnificent beard to boot. <laughs> I'm telling you. So Talk jealous. On it. So jelly. Mickelson straight away, no, hey, why not? No hesitation, none. He didn't even think about it. I mean, there was there was no coach, should I? Well, uh, no, it was, I'm shooting, sorry coach. Kale Mickelson messed me up, he switched numbers. He was 44 last year, he's four this year. A nice cut and a nice lay-in from Copping. Yeah, they, they play together well. Alpina, Alpina plays together really well. All of a sudden, this game is just an offensive Craziness oh. is Keegan oh. Brooks, nice attempt there, and then he couldn't quite get back in bounds to send that one back. That's like the uh, inbounds, outbounds. It's like the kitchen in pickleball, Eric. You have to reestablish both feet inbounds before you can touch the ball. Oh. You have to reestablish both feet outside the kitchen. Sorry, that was for Kevin's sake. I'll take your word for yeah, it. That was for Kevin's sake. Should he ever watch this game? I eat pickles. I don't play pickle. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Two-point game as the Wildcats bring it into the front court. And now we're going to get a travel call on Caden Wisniewski, I believe is how you pronounce it. That's, I'm, I'm going to say that's a pretty good guess. That's how I pronounce it. The Vikings have settled down in their half-court defense a little bit now. I, 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 that, that defensive possession there was good. They, they weren't uh, any easy looks for Alpina to to make passes to that, that was that was that was uh, a positive thing for the Vikings Brooks that shot attempt going off the support and so it'll be out of bounds it'll be Alpina basketball we talked last year I remember Kevin Gregory and I talking a little bit about the the sort of hitch in Keegan Brooks's jumper kind of sometimes seems like he's coming down as he releases it instead of releasing it at his peak it's, it's smoother looking this year I'm not sure what's changed or it's just my old eyes, but it looks smoother. I, I, I didn't see him play a whole lot last year. I, I think I only did one game with you last year, and uh, I, I was I, I did one game for minus 26. Can't remember who it was with, but um, I, I don't remember. But he, his shot does look nice this year. It looks it looks smooth. Foul is on Keegan Brooks as Aiden Goik will go to the line. Goik or Goiki? We're not sure. I would say Goiki because it's fun to say that way. I like it too. It's a, it's a fair point. Goiki drains them both. 
Four point Alpina lead, 20 to 16. Minute to go here in the opening quarter. Early on, it really felt like uh, Alpina came out and they were gonna take control of this game. The Vikings have done a really good job of getting back into it and kinda regaining some composure. Tanner Cochran has checked into the game for the Vikings. Here's Hoagland, three ball, right wing, no good. And the rebound picked up, and Cochran's going to pick up the foul as he scrambles on the floor at the feet of Wisniewski. There is no hesitation for the threes from the Vikings tonight. No. None. No. no. It's like watching you and Kevin play three on three. <laughs> no conscience. <laughs> no conscience nope. whatsoever. None whatsoever. <laughs> you know, I had a rule when it came to shooting. If you're hot, you keep shooting. If you're cold, you shoot till you get hot. Exactly. And then you keep shooting. <laughs> You know, sometimes you have nightmares about, you know, just not being able to do what you want to do in your dreams. I feel like a nightmare for you or Kevin would be no three-point line. That would be awful. A nice pickup, Kale Mickelson, all the way to the other end, the lay-in. Good scrappy defense results in two points for the Vikings, but they did not get back. And they got lucky with the blown layup. Yeah, Genema might have influenced that shot by uh, DeRocher. I thought DeRocher was going to flush it. I'm surprised. I, I honestly thought that myself. Oh. Uh, Keegan Brooks thinking that Mickelson was going to cut, and Coach Benzenberg clearly thought he was going to cut, too, as he comes out of the Because he should have cut. <laughs> he should have cut. It was wide open. <laughs> Keegan saw it, and, and uh, Kale did not. The whole gym now knows that he should have cut, though. <laughs> and at the buzzer, off the rafters. No good. That'll end the opening quarter of play. 20 to 18. The Alpena Wildcats, after making the trek across the state, lead the Cadillac Vikings. Big North Boys basketball on My News 26. We'll be back. Second quarter coming up right after this. 